The median home price in the U.S. posted another monthly increase in August, according to the latest data from Redfin, a national real estate brokerage, defying calls for an imminent housing market crash that never seems to materialize. In today's video, we're going to look at the latest supply and demand data to see where the market is headed in the short term, and then we'll cover my latest research on the biggest risk factors to the housing market over the next 6 to 12 months that have the potential to lead to a downturn in the market. My name is Eric and I am a professional economist and licensed real estate agent in the state of California, and I can bring you insights into the housing market you'll be hard pressed to find on other YouTube channels. Let's get into it. <laughs> You don't have to look very hard to find someone on YouTube calling for an imminent housing crash that has yet to materialize. On this channel, I'm not going to speculate on where the market is headed without data to back it up. So let's take a look at the latest housing market data for the US overall and see where supply and demand are trending and what that means for home prices over the next few months. The median home price in the U.S. came in at $412,000 in August on a seasonally adjusted basis. This is now the fourth month in a row of increases in the median price. It is up 2.7% from the low point in February and down just 1% from the high point last April. The supply and demand trends in recent months have continued, confirming this is not just a fluke in the data. The month's supply of homes on the market leveled out a bit in August, but still remains around the lowest levels we've seen this year. New listings have halted their downward trend and ticked up a bit in the latest data, suggesting sellers might be paying attention to the uptick in prices. We may not see supply tightening up much more, but with such low inventories, the supply side of the market will continue to put upward pressure on prices in the next few months. On the demand side of the market, the recent strength in demand has continued. The sales to list price ratio continues its march towards 100, at which point homes would be selling for list price on average. The recent strength in demand can also be seen in the average number of days a home stays on the market, which has maintained the downtrend that started at the beginning of this year. It's the same story we've seen taking place in 2023. Supply remains tight and demand is picking up. Now, we do need to keep in mind that this latest data from Redfin is covering August, and I'm releasing this video in October. That's just the nature of the beast with this kind of macro data. It's always a bit lagged. We have much more recent data on mortgage rates, however, and they have now hit the highest level in decades, coming in at 7.63% as of October 19th, according to Freddie Mac. This has pushed affordability levels to record lows. Here's a chart of the average housing payment as a share of median household income. And with the recent rise in both home prices and mortgage rates, it is at its highest point in decades. The upcoming housing data for September and October will be key to watch when they are released, as it will tell us how buyers are reacting to the prospect of even higher monthly payments than those seen at their peak last year. So that's where we are in the current market trends. Prices are likely to level out instead of heading much higher and aren't likely to go down significantly due to the tight supply. Now, let's look at the risks out there to the housing market and what that could mean for prices over the next 6 to 12 months. First, on the supply side, the biggest risk would be a surge in supply. If demand remains strong and supply increased significantly, that would put a lot of downward pressure on prices. There are three scenarios where this could take place. One is the pent-up supply theory that says there are a lot of listings that would have taken place but haven't due to high mortgage rates and sellers not wanting to sell their home with a 3% mortgage and have to buy one with a 7.5% mortgage. I recently released a video looking into this in depth. I estimated how much pent-up supply could be out there and found that if it all came onto the market, we could see prices drop by around 6.3%. That's not a small drop, but it's a far cry from a full 30% crash in prices like what happened in the last housing bubble. The reason this pent-up supply wouldn't completely crash the market is because there's a lot of pent-up demand as well, which could absorb the increase in inventory. Just think about the recent strength we're seeing in the market right now. 
People are out there buying homes despite record high prices and mortgage rates. The next scenario is the Airbnb bus theory that says there are a lot of homes that were purchased in 2020 and 2021 as an investment, but are losing money. So they may get dumped on the market. I'm doing some research on this now. and We'll be releasing a video soon to get a, a better sense of just how big of a risk this would be to prices going forward. The third scenario is a lot of apartments coming online from new construction, which would put downward pressure on rents and could pull buyers away from purchasing a home and opting to rent instead. I'll also be doing some research on this and we'll post a video on that as well. Those are the three big risks on the supply side. Now let's look at the demand side of the market. Affordability is a big problem for demand right now, and despite the recent strength we've seen, I don't see this pushing prices up too much more. In my recent video on the outlook for mortgage rates, I pointed out that we're not likely to see much relief in rates before the end before the middle of 2024. The Fed isn't done with raising rates yet, and the bond market, which has more influence on mortgage rates, has finally woke up to this reality and has sent treasury rates to the highest level we've seen in years. One big risk for home prices on the demand side is an economic recession. There has been a lot of speculation of an imminent economic downturn in the U.S. due to the Fed's fight against inflation by slowing down the economy, but it has yet to materialize. On my other channel, I just released an update to the U.S. economy, so check that out if you want to get more in-depth on that. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. If a recession did happen, it would put downward pressure on prices due to weakened demand. People losing their job from a downturn are unlikely to purchase a home due to lost income, even if they had been planning it. I will also be doing some research into this to gauge what kind of impact it could have on home prices. That's a lot of videos coming out over the next few months, so if you like what you're seeing here, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell down below so you know right away when those videos come out. On this channel, you get the benefit of real research by an experienced economist for insights into the housing market. And we got some great content coming out over the next few months. If you did like this video, please hit that like button down below to support the channel, help it grow. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.